Yo, Elliot. So we got a question today from our buddy about big life changes and being able to maintain his anxiety about all the big things that are happening in his life but are also throwing, in, throwing him into deep change. So basically he's just, I guess, going to college now, right? So he's changing, excuse me, changing schools, he's changing towns, I guess he's moving to another state, changing his MMA gym, he's training, he's changing so many different things and it's kind of weighing down on him. There's a lot of anxiety associated with this change. And this is for everyone, dude, this is not just you. Whenever we are thrown out of our rut, and when I say rut, I don't, I'm not using that in a derogatory term. The nervous system likes to find patterns of ease by which it could navigate easily over and over and over again. That's why habits are so powerful. So when your habits are thrown off, there is this dissonance that goes on whereby your, your physiology is now rebelling against your activities and then there's this, there's this clash that goes on within you. And you're experiencing this. This is where a lot of people end up getting sick, end up getting depressed, their entire lives just kind of fall apart at this point. You, I'm assuming you're about maybe 18, 19 years old, you're going to college. This is probably the most exciting time in your life, but it's also a, a huge turning point, not just because you're going to school and whatever the case may be, what the world would have you believe is the, is the big turning point. It's the version of you that's going to come out of this particular phase of your life that, that matters a lot. So um, anyway, what I'd like to offer you is that although the things around you are changing, you need to maintain as much physiological, energetic, and physical um, stability as possible. And the cool thing is that, is that you can make choices about the activities that you also continue to participate in while all this stuff is changing around you. The very first one that I want to offer you is energetic, and that is going to be meditation. When you meditate, when you shut your brain off, if you could imagine that you and your life is like a tornado, right? You know what a tornado is? It's just spitting around, picking shit up, throwing it around. It's a fucking mayhem. But at the eye of that tornado, there is peace and there is calm. Now imagine, right, that this is a physical tornado and you're in the middle of the tornado and you're standing there. Let's say the tornado is going around, around you. Imagine the type of mastery of your circumstances you would have if you could stand there and watch all this shit going around and just sort of pick out what you're going to participate in or see it as it's coming around and act appropriately associated with it. Powerful. Most powerful position that you could possibly be in. You've got to, and I say this like you've got to, like it's one other fucking thing you've got to do, right? Just one more, one more stressor. Practice meditation. Take 15 minutes a day for yourself to sit down, clear your mind of all thoughts and just focus on your breathing. The easiest way to meditate is to focus on your body and your breathing. I've given you guys so many different types of meditation. I really believe that meditation happens, happens in the body as opposed to the brain. See, we want to do meditation like we do mathematics, but really medica meditation is a letting go and most of our holding on happens in the musculature and it also reduces our respiratory wave, our ability to breathe deep. So what I would invite you to do is to at least the simplest thing you can do is just lay down on the bed for 15 minutes with your hands over your belly, right? Hands over your belly, relax your jaw and just breathe and just follow, literally feel the breath coming in and out of your body, right? As you're doing this, take notice as to any muscular tension, fucking trucks, any muscular tension in your body and just let it relax. Just let that muscular tension release. Meditate, my friend. I, I can't emphasize how important that's going to be for you. I, I describe these three layers of strength, right? There are four of them, but the three of the body. Energetic strength is, is the deeper of the three because it will, if you meditate, it will support your physiology and it will also support your neuromuscular system. You'll be stronger. So it, it's going right to the root of the issue, my man. St meditate. 
physiologically, what you can also do is make sure that you're practicing habitual sleeping patterns. Get to bed on the same at the same time every night and wake up at the same time every day if you can do this. Get to bed by 10.30, wake up at 6.30. Just no matter what you gotta do, make sure that shit happens. No matter how much is going on, stop and go to bed. And by maintaining that rhythm, that circadian rhythm, that's a biological rhythm, you are going to be more grounded. Right? So you can do that with your sleeping, which is the one I always suggest, but you can also do that with your, your meal timing as well. And then neuromuscularly. You say you train five or six times a week. Look, oh, you also say that you meditate every day. Cool. Keep doing that. Sorry, I didn't see that. Um, but you're exercising five, six times a, a week. Cool. If you can maintain that energetically, if you have enough energy to go through all this change and train real hard, then do so. If you don't have the energy to train that much, either reduce the volume of your training by training less days a week or just not as long, or include energy enhancing exercises like my anabolic energizers. I've spoken about this before and you can probably search my YouTube, uh, my, um, my blog, Hull Strength, to find some information about it. So that's it, my man. I'm excited for you because you're, you're moving in a direction of growth, change, challenge. You're gonna become a stronger version of yourself, but you've gotta remain grounded, and these are some ideas that are gonna support you. Talk to you next time. Yo, Elliot.